Are you going to waste also this Ramadan? Every year you always said that you will do your best this Ramadan. You're gonna pray more, you're gonna do more the curve, you're gonna help more people and you're not gonna miss the rewards of this holy month. When you are feeling this quiet desperation because you know you are meant for more. You know that you can do more than you think but you keep scoring, keep consuming and you keep letting yourself down. You are constantly comparing yourself to others but you are stuck waiting for the day you take charge of your life. The average person spends other 15 years of their life on their phone, struggles with anxiety and depression and will never live the life they truly wanted. Ask yourself, will you allow this blessed month to slip away? Or will you seize the opportunity for spiritual growth and transformation to leave behind bad habits and replace them with good ones? Increase our acts of worship and good deeds and practice self-discipline, all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why I'm coming today with a 30-day challenge to prepare yourself for Ramadan and to make the most of it. This is not for everyone. It's only for those who want to have a more close relationship with their creator and succeed in this life and in the hereafter thanks to his blessings. Stay with me and make sure to subscribe and to show some love by liking this video. So in these 30 days before Ramadan, we're gonna stick to eight habits. The first habit is waking up early and sleep early. No more sleeping at midnight, no more sleeping at 3 a.m. We're gonna wake up early, we're gonna sleep early because waking up early and sleeping early is gonna help us to be more productive on doing our things during the day. So you're gonna wake up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., maximum it's 7 a.m. You're gonna have more time to do your things, to study, to dedicate sometimes to your religion by reading Quran, by doing Quran journaling, by doing dhikr. So waking up early is gonna save you a lot of time. And by waking up early, you're gonna embrace the sweetness of the morning which has a lot of baraka. And of course, to wake up early, you have also to sleep early. So we're gonna start to go to bed at 9 p.m. The max is 10 p.m. More than that, no way. And now we're gonna pass to the second habit. The second habit is to start reading the morning of car and the evening of car every single day. By reading the morning of car, you're gonna start your day with baraka, with um, knowing that Allah is gonna protect you in that day. There is a lot of apps where you can read your morning afkar and your evening afkar. So when you wake up, try to take your phone and the first thing that you have to do is reading your afkar. And same thing for the evening afkar. You can do them after Maghrib, during the evening. You can read your afkar to finish your day in the best way. Another habit is doing exercises. By exercising, it's not only going to the gym and do your workout, but it can be also cardio, it can be stretching, yoga, it can be going for a walk of 30 minutes or one hour. It can be anything. You can also exercise at home by following a video on YouTube. I don't care how you're gonna do it, but you have like to move your body because it's good for your physical health because it's good for your mental health and this is also is gonna help you to prepare for ramadan to be always in a good shape even in ramadan the other habits is that in these 30 days we're gonna try to not eat junk food i know it's very hard especially when you go out with your friends but even when you go out try to always choose healthy options and i'm not staying here saying why you, you should not eat junk food because you already know it also this is a great way to prepare your body for ramadan so during your fasting you are not gonna start struggling with your cravings watching tiktok videos where there is other people eating and it's gonna help you to be more disciplined in the way you eat especially in ramadan because we have like this bad habit that during also the iftar we eat a lot of food majority of time it's fried food and of course it's not good for our health so maybe by sticking to this habit in 30 days challenge you're gonna be more mindful on eating during the iftar another habit that we're gonna stick to it on this 30 days challenge is to do tahajjud every single day the tahajjud prayer have changed the lives of a lot of people solve their problems have achieved their goals and have achieved a lot of happiness and success in their life 
So why not making the tahajjud a habit where every day after Aisha or in the last third of the night or even before the Fajr, you can, for example, if you struggle to wake up in the last third of the night, you can wake up like uh, 30 minutes before the Fajr and do your tahajjud prayer. I usually do it in this way. Another habit is to read Quran every day. In this 30-day challenge, we're gonna read every day five pages of the Quran. You don't have excuses. It's gonna take you maximum like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, no more. So every day you're gonna read five pages of the Quran. If you can do more, it's better. But I put it like a minimum of five pages because I know that a lot of people, they have um, the school, they have work, so they cannot read a lot of pages of the Quran every day. And remember that for each letter that you're gonna read from the Quran, you're gonna have 10 rewards. In fact, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, whoever recites a letter from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will receive one good deed as 10 good deeds like it. Also, this is gonna help us to exercise and to prepare us to read all the Quran within the month of Ramadan, inshallah. The next habit is Quran journaling. I have talked about Quran journaling a lot on my channel. You can watch two videos where I explain what is Quran journaling, especially if you have never do it and you don't know how to start. Quran journaling is taking a verse from the Quran or a surah from the Quran and try to reflect about the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, try to understand it. So in this 30 days challenge, every day we're gonna do Quran journaling. You can do it also only for five minutes. You can take a small ayah, a small verse from the Quran, or maybe a small surah, for example, قُلْ وَاللَّهُ أَحَدُ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ and try to understand uh, their meaning, uh, what Allah is telling us with this surah, and how we can use this surah in our lives. Even five minutes is better than nothing. The last habit, and I think that it's the most hard one is to limit your screen time no more scrolling for hours no more uh, wasting your time watching uh, the lives of other people no more of that so in this 30 day challenge you're gonna have only one hour to stay in social media outside of that you're gonna studying you're gonna read quran you're gonna do quran journaling you're gonna prepare yourself for ramadan what are your goals for ramadan you can like read a book you can learn a new skill you can uh, go for a walk you can go to the gym do anything but do not stay in the phone i know that this one it's very hard you have to challenge your mind and be disciplined and you are not going to be alone we're gonna do this challenge all together i have created a group that you can find it here below in the description where all of us are gonna motivate each other we're gonna send our progress about how it's going our challenge we're gonna help each other we're gonna uh, share with each other tips about how to stick to these habits and how to make them a long-term habit also i'm gonna give you a free notion template where you can track all your habits for this 30 days challenge you can find it as well in the description we will start this challenge on february 12 2024 i can't wait to start this challenge with you guys i hope it's gonna be helpful i hope it's gonna help you to prepare in the best way for ramadan and i hope it's gonna be also helping you build habits that they're gonna be forever and not only for ramadan or for 30 days may allah help us to enter ramadan in the best way and to realize our desires our goals and to bless us the best thing and that's it for this video see you in the group that you can find as i said in the description below and assalamualaikum. alaikum